Hi everybody, Mark here from AmericanAeration.com and in this video I want to cover some of the top rated solar aerators that we've worked with for ponds up to one acre in size and this is being filmed in 2025. I will say that over the years the systems that we're covering at least in this video have been pretty stable. They've been good performers and not much has changed in this marketplace. A few of these were introduced in the last two years, so they're relatively new to the market. There are some things we're going to talk about in this video that are kind of game-changing, in my opinion, as far as uh, just solar aerators in general, so stick around for that. And as I say, this particular video, we're going to cover the specific aerators that we would recommend for ponds up to one acre in size. This could be anything from, let's say, about a quarter acre half acre, three quarters, up to one acre in size. Before we dive into the systems themselves, I want to clarify a few things about solar aerators in general. Now we have two types that we're going to cover here. We have direct drive and we have battery supported. Direct drive are the kind that will only work when the sun is out. When they are getting sunlight on the solar panels, they will run towards the end of the day or really early in the day. They may not run full steam and then at night they will not operate at all. Battery supported systems will carry you through most if not all of the 24-hour period. They will help on runs of cloudy days and through the winter months and stuff like that. So battery supported systems are typically what we would recommend for the most consistent performance and that would be important especially if fish are a major priority for you. But battery supported systems are going to be quite a bit more expensive because of some of these extra components. I do want to mention too that I'm not going to get into specific pricing in this video. Those do change from time to time and the best way to get updated pricing is just to visit our website. I'll have a link down in the description for the solar aerator page there where we will keep current pricing listed. You can always reach out to me too if you need anything specific on something that you may not see in this video. So direct drive, daytime only, battery supported, closer to full time. When we're looking at sizing a uniform pond, that's pretty simple. A one acre size pond is going to be around 200, 210 by 210 feet specifically. If you're in that neighborhood and the pond is round, square, slightly oblong, you're okay taking those dimensions and working with some of the coverage estimates we're gonna give you which is really based a lot on the depth of the pond. That's where you get your coverage. And I'll explain that more in a bit. But when you move to sizing an oblong pond, if the pond is 300 feet long or 400 feet long, but you do the surface area measurement and it tells you it's around an acre, that changes the equation on sizing. Because if we're talking about a square acre being, let's say 200 feet rounded, um, and we're looking at an oblong pond that's 400 feet, yeah, the width isn't going to be an acre necessarily, but the length of that pond is actually closer to equaling two acres in size. So we need to account for that when we, when we estimate these uh, coverages for the systems, and we're going to have more diffusers placed in there because of it. A single diffuser placed at 12 feet deep will cover approximately one acre of area around it. As you lose depth, Let's say you get down to eight feet, seven or eight feet. You're probably closer to covering about a half acre with that same diffuser. As you get down to maybe five, six feet, you're closer to a quarter acre in coverage. And so you can see depth is really the most important thing in my mind to determine when you're sizing one of these aeration systems. So you want to make sure, don't guess on this, uh, go out and measure it and make sure you know what kind of depth you have to work with. And then we can check a pond's configuration, surface area, that kind of thing from Google Earth if it helps. And uh, by that and using the depth measurements, we can make a suggestion on how many diffusers you're going to need. In most cases, for a one acre pond on down, one or two diffusers will probably do the trick. And so that's what we're going to cover here in this video for the most part. I do want to also mention a couple of potential cost saving things that you can look at before you ever purchase one of these solar aerators. The big saver, in my opinion, is looking at where your power is located, if you have power at all to work with, within a thousand feet of the pond, and the geography or topography allows you to run 
a buried or trenched in air line from power to the pond edge, consider looking at a standard electrical system. These are typically half or a third of the price of what a solar aeration kit would be. That's one thing. Two, they automatically run 24 7 round the clock and that for consistency's purposes is very important so whenever i have the potential to consider a powered system i will look at that first if it's not possible due to the geography just making it impossible to run an airline or the distance is too great sure 100 percent solar aerators are the next best thing i would rate them above windmills across the board for consistency and really the only way I would consider a windmill personally and it's just me is if budget was a primary factor if I couldn't afford a solar aerator I might look at a windmill as something better than nothing but solar is a great option when you don't have power anywhere nearby the final thing I want to mention is the solar tax credit over the last few years Solar tax credits have been available for the purchase of systems like this, and you can get a 30% tax credit. You want to talk to your accountant or tax advisor on this to make sure, but in the past, we've had customers that have taken advantage of this. This is still available in 2025. As this video is being done, there is legislation pending where this is likely to change. It could go away entirely or it will be phased out over the next couple of years going from, I think, 16% or something like that, maybe down to 10% the following year, and then it'll be phased out. So in order to get the 30% current uh, tax credit, you want to make sure you make a purchase on something solar related before the end of 2025. As we get into these systems, the first thing we're going to talk about is the direct drive. And again, daylight only. I have a couple of aerators that I would suggest looking at if you want to go with a direct drive system, the AA1 and AA2, the only difference between them is the number of solar panels. Uh, they both use a brushless DC rocking piston pump, produce about 2.6 CFMs, which is really actually good for a solar aeration system. That's a, a very good CFM to look at. You can get them with single or dual panels. The dual panel obviously costs a bit more, but you do get an extended runtime, better operation on cloudy days. A lot of times if I'm dealing with somebody, let's say in the southwest or in the far south where they get a lot of sun, a single panel works pretty good. But in the northern U.S., a lot of times the dual panels are highly desirable just for extended run times. There's a single diffuser with these kits and 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline. They are rated down to about 30 feet of depth, a little bit more, and then a new backup battery module is available for these direct drive systems. So if you started with a simple direct drive or for customers who have purchased this system previously and they're running at daylight only, if they want to expand it to a full-time battery supported system, there is now a module coming out. It'll be available soon on our site and it will help run uh, the system around the clock. It will have four AGM batteries in it that are obviously recharging every time the sun comes out and they'll keep you running throughout the uh, nighttime hours. The next direct drive I want to cover, very similar to the first one, it just has two diffusers. Same pump is being used. You're going to get 2.6 uh, CFMs out of that. It again comes with single and dual panels. Same story. If you have a lot of sunlight, and you're in the south, a single panel is fine. If you can swing it and you're in the north, probably two panels will be desirable. This one uh, has a 345 watt 60 cell uh, per panel and then two diffusers, 200 feet of weighted airline, again rated for 30 feet plus, and it too can be run off the backup module should you desire that later on. The Solaire 1.1 Plus is a battery supported model. Solaires have been around for quite a few years now and have kind of proven themselves to be very good reliable performers, very well built. Uh, they use an EcoFlow compressor producing about two CFMs, will work down to 25 feet. Uh, standard, this comes with one 24 volt panel and two AGM batteries. Another big upgrade here, which I'll mention, uh, lithium upgrade is available this year and lithium upgrade or lithium batteries I should say have some potential benefits 
over standard AGM batteries. I found that to be the case in a lot of my uses just with simple things around the house. The batteries tend to hold a, a performing charge longer. Uh, they have a better lifespan. There's just some real advantages. I, rather than go into that here, I would encourage you to look online, maybe do a Google search and compare comparing lithium to AGM batteries and see if some of those benefits um, are worth the added cost to you. There is an increase in cost for that upgrade, but it's kind of nice to see because this is the first time I found lithium rechargeable batteries being used in these solar aerators, and I think that's a good move. This system comes with 100 feet of weighted airline, and of course that single diffuser is included. The Solar 1.2, pretty much the same system, same specs, two AGM batteries, lithium upgrade is available. It comes with two diffusers and 200 feet of weighted airline. And uh, yeah, a very good system for more full-time, close to full-time operation. Another system that we've had really good luck with, we probably sold more of these than any of the others. And uh, of the Airmax solar systems, the battery supported model, which I'll show next has been our top seller. But they also make a direct drive aerator using a 24 volt DC compressor. Again, it's producing around two CFMs, dual panels. They're both 60 cell. Now the kit here comes with two diffusers and you may say, well, what if I only need one? And I've had that happen. The prices on these historically have been good enough to where they have competed nicely head to head with some of the single diffuser models that we had. I, I, the, the price has increased over the last year a little bit to where they're not quite as close, but uh, certainly I've used these in ponds where I just use one diffuser at a time and save the second one for later use and it's worked out very well. You, again, you'll want to check on pricing and, and see how they compare to single diffuser models in that case, but certainly if you need two diffusers to cover your pond, it's, it's a nice system to consider. It has a 20-foot depth rating and comes with 5 8 inch weighted airline. And then the battery-supported Airmax solar model, again, 24-volt DC compressor, two CFMs, again, very similar, 60-cell dual panels. This one comes with two 12-volt AGM batteries, two diffusers, 20 feet of depth uh, for its max rating, and then, again, it uses 5 8 inch weighted airline. I would suggest that if you're interested in any of these systems, be sure to reach out to me at AmericanAeration.com. Again, my name is Mark. You can also check a link below in the description for a link to our website directly to the solar aerator page. You'll find all the current pricing on there and a much more comprehensive list of specifications, warranties, and things like that there too, if there's any of these that you have your eye on. And again, if you have any questions about any of these aerators, aeration in general, or help with your pond, you can reach out to me at AmericanAeration.com. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope you have a great day wherever you are.